Welcome back. Cotter. Libertarian presidential candidate Gary Johnson says Donald Trump's seemingly vast unpopularity is going to be a huge boost for libertarians. He says this is the demise of the Republican Party. This is an opportunity, I think, for the Libertarian Party to become a major party. Now, similarly, Green Party candidate Jill Stein is warning that Republicans defecting to the Hillary camp are pulling the Democratic Party to the right. Either candidate needs to make 15 percent in the polls to enter the three major presidential debates. But do they have a shot? The party panel is back. Dagan McDowell, Charles Cook, and Rick Unger. All right, so Jill Stein says the presidential, the Commission on Presidential Debates is illegitimate. And I think she's right. I, I think that uh, this is a questionable organization with very arbitrary criteria in getting people on. Yeah, I think it was kind of sleazy that they set up a couple of the debates against uh, football games. I think that that was intentional, hoping that people wouldn't watch them and watch Hillary Clinton maybe not do well. But Jill, they, Jill Stein has no shot. Jill Stein doesn't even understand. I was participating in an interview with her, the fun, how the Federal Reserve works, which kind of gets on my nerves. But in terms of Gary the Johnson. The Fed gets on my nerves, too. I just can't no, but stand she, it. it was, I say end it. End it now. It's zero, zero personal responsibility with any of her ideas. But in terms of Gary Johnson, it's, he said, is he still smoking something? He is not. Uh, he's not. He's not smoking anything. He has given up the reefer but until he gets to 1,600 pence I don't think this is some big moment for See, libertarians. I, I you wrote the Conservatarian Manifesto. I did. You know where conservatives and libertarians meet that sweet spot. Has he found it? No, he no. hasn't. What, I think he's been more interested in going after Hillary's voters, which is an interesting mm. choice. There and was it's worked. An opportunity when the polls tighten, when, when <laughs> those two down. are introduced into the race, she actually goes That's down. That's true. The problem is she's so far up. Yeah. That he, she, doesn't, she goes down by two, so she's eight uh, points ahead uh, instead of ten. Yeah, there's a lot wrong with, with him and that ticket. It was a moment for libertarians, although I don't think the Republican Party is dead. I don't think that libertarians are about to become a major party. On the, on the Jill Stein point, I have some sympathy for Jill Stein here. Because if you look at the, uh, the commission, which I don't think should exist, I think the networks can do mm -hmm. it, they set up uh, the Work, criteria. Give it back to the League of Women Voters. How about that? Sure, wh whatever you like. Um, but the. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Charles. <laughs> the interruption thing. Um, but, but Jill Stein has a point, right? Because yeah. they set up the criteria so that you have to reach a certain threshold within the polls, and then they used a poll that doesn't include Jill Stein. Yes. Right. Well, that's not fair. I mean, of that course is unjust. that's not fair. Yeah, that is totally unjust. Whether she's going to get there or not. And she's yeah. also a woman running for president. Last word. Uh, last word. Gary's a bit oh, exaggerating. Look, the Libertarian Party, <clears throat> people don't realize it. There are other third parties that have more people than the Libertarians. It could be like the who? start. Uh, oddly enough, the new Whigs actually okay. have more, more people. Then where's <clears throat> their candidate? They don't have, well, they have one, but you never heard of them. Exactly. And I, and I haven't either. What they could use this for, it can be the start of something. Until the Libertarians are fielding candidates at local and state levels mm -hmm. everywhere, for dog catcher, for governor, for this or that, they're not the real deal. There you are, can't show up there once are more Four libertarians years. on the ballot than mm. there have more, ever been. More, more. Yes. But they've got to really push it at the local and state level. Well, hard to do it. Like and I, I miss Ross Perot. Nobody said that. <laughs> <laughs> but he was the last 19% of my stage in those presidential debates because Bush and Clinton both thought that Ross Perot was going to hurt the other. And in the end, he hurt George yeah. Herbert Walker. Bush. Although some disagree with that. Mm. It was awesomeness, though, to watch him. Yeah. Talk okay. about the deficit. deficit See, it, doesn't it make you miss yep. Lindsey Graham? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you watch Gary Johnson and his running mate Bill Weld on a Stossel, Stossel special. It's the Libertarian Town Hall Friday night at 9 Eastern right here on FBN.